Hello everyone, today is Mods Day again and I will do my first performance modification on my Royal Enfield Classic 350 and I will install the DNA Stage 2 High Performance Air Filter. Hopefully the DNA Air Filter will increase the performance of the Classic 350. Installation should be quite easy, I will show you how it's done and afterwards I'll do a test ride to see if there is any difference between the performance air filter and the standard one and the classic 350. The price of the DNA filter is quite high. It's about, I think I paid 80 euros, something like that. But compared to the standard paper filter, this filter can be cleaned. There's a service kit available also, it's this one. And with this service kit, you can clean the filter and re-oil it afterwards. So. It should last quite long, so I think the filter will last a little bit longer, of course, than the paper filter, because the paper filter you have to throw away if it's old. And this one here, you can clean it with this service kit. I show you what's in the package and then afterwards I will start the installation. So let's open the box to see what's inside. So first we have the air filter. like this. Here's the opening. It's a little bit bigger than the standard filter. And of course the, the material is different than the standard filter. It's more a fiber material with a metallic net over it. It's pre-oiled so you don't have to oil it when you install it. And this is how it looks like. This is the filter. And the second thing that's inside is the intake plate which also looks different than the standard one. I will show you in a minute. So this is how it looks like. This is the intake plate for the filter. It gets in like this afterwards. So it has a much bigger opening and I will show you in a minute how the standard one looks like. And of course we have a small installation guide. Here it is, but the installation is very easy. Here is a guide how to use the service kit. Should be also quite easy. But it's new at the moment, so I don't have to do that. The air filter is behind the left side cover, so just open it. To get to the air filter, you have to remove this document holder here. It's quite easy, just lift it up on the bottom and then slide it out on the top. So this is the document holder and this is the air filter with this intake plate with a snorkel on it and as you can see there's a limited amount of air possible to get in here. The airflow comes from the inside so it gets from down here it comes in so you can put the document holder back if you like. So first thing just take off the screws with a Phillips driver on. Two and three. There we are. And now you can take off the intake plate and here the paper filter is directly on it. Of course you can detach it and here you can see how different the opening is. First I will compare the filter. This is the standard one and this is the DNA filter. As you can see different material. This one is paper and this is something like a mesh with some fabric inside. So these are the different filters. But what is really important is if you compare the plates, this is the new one and this is the standard plate with this snorkel and the smaller opening. So of course the plate will give a much better airflow than the new one. So and now to install it, it's absolutely easy. Take the air filter, 
with the covered side it goes in here that's it and then you take the plate and just fit it in here that's it and now the screws have to go back in second one And that's it. You can put the document holder back in because the air is coming from the bottom here. You can see here my finger. So the airflow goes in here. So it doesn't matter if the cover is on the top. I will put it back just in case I want to put some papers in here. That's it. Now you can close the cover and all is done. The next thing you should do is let the angel idle for about 15 minutes, 10 to 15 minutes to allow the ECU to recalculate the air fuel mixture. In this period you should not rev the motor, just leave it like this let it idle for about 10-15 minutes. And now the ECU will reprogram itself, recalculate the perfect air fuel mixture to give the best performance to the bike. This will take a minute. And after these 15 minutes we can do a test ride. Okay, 15 minutes idling time are finished now, so let's do a sound comparison. This is the sound difference between the standard air filter and the DNA stage 2 filter. What do you think? Can you hear any difference? And now I will do a test ride to see if there's any difference while riding the Classic 350. So let's see if there's any difference. sure <laughs> okay so for sure the sound is different it's a little bit more bassy the sound maybe a tick louder 
not that much, but a good grunt in the sound. What's a little bit different is the throttle response. It's a little bit smoother. Response better, sound definitely a bit better. And I think that there's also a bit more power, especially in the in the low revs, the response is better, smoother. So you can feel that the engine gets more air so let's do an acceleration test again yeah I think that's better than before I like the sound, a little bit more bassy, more grunt in it. The throttle response is smoother. The engine all in all runs very good. And acceleration from 60 to 80, let's check. So, a good modification for the Royal Enfield Classic 350. It's not that expensive, you can do it in five minutes. The engine gets more air and you can feel it. It can breathe now. Of course, the top speed is not changing. I didn't test it, but it will be the same. But the push in the lower revs, it's better. And the throttle response, definitely different than before. <laughs> it's really amazing, this small engine, this 350cc can create such a wonderful riding sound. Definitely a little bit better than before, a little bit bassier, but the engine runs smooth. So all in all, this modification was quite cheap, very fast, 
I think definitely worth it. More power at the low end. The throttle response is a little bit sharper. Sound has a little bit more roar. It's a bassier tone. Better acceleration. And this boost in power in the low end is really worth it. So I think it's a massive improvement over the stock air filter. Easy to do. Five minutes and it's done. Yeah, and it's worth it. Okay, so that's it for today, the test and the installation of the DNA air filter. I hope you liked the video. If you did, please give me a big thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. I see you in the next video. If you're riding, ride safe. Take care and cheers.